today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So first of all, what am I talking about here? You've probably seen this a million times, didn't know what it was called, so I'm just going to go ahead and play this back. This is just a series of different pictures from a recent training trip I did in Las Vegas. Now you can see that the pictures are actually being animated here, but I haven't created any kind of keyframes. So how exactly was I able to put this together? Let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's start from scratch. So I'm just gonna take those clips out. I'm gonna take those same clips that I selected here. To select multiple clips, I'm just hitting Command, and I'll go ahead and drop it into the beginning of my timeline using Q. Now that I have these clips, I want to animate this. As it is currently on my screen, you'll notice that I have my pillar boxes because my photo is taken in a four thirds and my output is going to be 16 by nines. So if I come down here to this button right here, if you can see that right here, it might look like this on your screen right now. That's our transform. And if I click on this, I'll change this to crop. And as soon as I have crop, this is what we've got. So I can actually crop my image should I want to, right? To something like that and now my image has been cropped in case I need to get someone out of my scene. But that's not what we're here to do. If I click on this, I have trim, crop, and Ken Burns. I'll go ahead and I'm gonna select Ken Burns. And as soon as I do that, you'll notice I get these two frames. What these frames mean is at the beginning of this clip, the first frame of this clip, this is what's gonna show up on the screen. And by the end of the clip, this is what's gonna show up on the screen here. So from this point right here at zero frames to about four seconds, that animation is going to happen. Well, let's let's see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and hit done, and I'll play back just that section. And sure enough, from point A to point B, it animates. So now, what else can I do with this Ken Burns effect here? So I'm gonna go ahead and click that clip and make sure my playhead is on the clip that I'm gonna be affecting. Click on my crop again. Well, I can zoom in to a specific point. Let's say I want to zoom in on this particular building here. I can do that. And you'll also notice that I get this little arrow here. Additionally, I've got this little play button here, and it's going to play just this section so I can review it. And notice we have that really fast kind of zoom happening there. Well, think about that, because it's starting from here and then ending up here, it's got to uh, travel quite a lot of distance. So if I made them relatively the same size, we're gonna have a slower effect here. It's just not traveling as far. All right. Additionally, if now I wanna to go to my next clip, additionally now, if I wanna move on to my next clip, I'll select it, put my playhead there, and click on Ken Burns. And notice again, it's starting zoomed out and then going to a zoom in. Well, this time I want it zoomed in and then end zoomed out. So I could do something like this, right? Kind of start at the start of that sun there and have it zoomed out to about here. I could do that. I'm gonna undo all that. And maybe I'm just gonna set this up like that. And I didn't realize, oops, I had the wrong one. Well, I've got this little swap button here and that swap button we'll just change the start and end. So now between these two clips, first I have it zooming in, and then the next clip is zoomed out. I can also travel to specific points in my clip, and by that I mean I want it to start maybe on this Sean O'Connell and then go to this billboard up here. So maybe I'm gonna start down here, cut off that frame. And now if I play that back, I can see what that looks like. And again, as one more example here, I'll do my Ken Burns. And notice that this was shot in portrait mode and that's okay, because usually photos have some great resolution compared to video, so you should have plenty of pixels left over there. 
And again, I'm just rearranging my start and end. And I'll just play that back to review it. And we have one last one here. I'm just going to leave that as the default, but I want it zoomed in first. So I'm going to swap them. So there's my start and there's my end. What I don't have is I don't have control, say, if I want the animation to start maybe five frames in, it's not. It's going to ignore all that because it's only going to take the information from the first frame to the last frame. If I want specifics like that at a certain time, do this, that's where I'm going to need to come into my transform panel and set manual keyframes. So just to review, this is what our end product looks like. And that is how you create a Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As one final example here, I'm going to drop in a video I shot here. Now, this is just in my backyard. I shot this at high speed here. And I'm wondering if I can take this high speed video right here, and I'm just going to drop it right there, slow it down, and I want to do a Ken Burns effect on my video here. So do you think I'll be able to do that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and click it, make sure it's on my playhead. And yeah, I can do my Ken Burns effect right on my video. So I can start it fairly zoomed out and go in. Now, as that plays back, I'm still getting that movement. So it's still zooming in without actually zooming in the footage. So I didn't actually zoom it in when I shot it. It is only zooming in onto that frame now. One thing to be aware of is as I do that, I will lose some resolution. Because anytime you go above 100% or zoom in on video, you're going to dither a little bit. So just be aware of that. But yeah, absolutely. You can totally do the Ken Burns effect right on video as well. So hopefully you found that useful. My name is Stanislaw Robert Liberta. If you want more tutorials in Final Cut, Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, be sure to check out my website, stanislawrobertliberta.com, where I offer more training and tutorials. Thanks for watching. Thank you.